Tonight, we are getting an exclusive behind the scenes look at our region's biggest and busiest airport. Customs and Border Protection officers at Dulles are trying to tackle a troubling trend at American airports. And now that marijuana is legal in more states, more smugglers are using checked bags to move drugs around. Customs officers recently confiscated hundreds of pounds of weed worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. News 4's Walter Morris has a story you will only see on News 4. It's an important part of what passengers don't see as they get ready for takeoff. News 4 going on the tarmac at Dulles International Airport as this team of Customs and Border Protection officers screen bags heading to Europe. Stop the machine, we're going to check the bag. These CBP officers say they have to be thorough because they've seen firsthand just how important these checks can be. In the last few months as we had several passengers who took the bet that they can transport illicit drugs outside of our international airport borders, but that's why we utilize our other tools and our other methods. We caught up with Katrina Bingham, Chief Supervisory Officer for Customs and Border Protection, an hour before this Aer Lingus flight to Dublin pushed back from the gate. The feds say smugglers are turning to commercial flights to transport marijuana to countries where they can charge more. And so far this year, CBP officers intercepting hundreds of pounds of weed. Some people think because marijuana is legal in many states throughout this country that they can just take it on a flight and leave. It is still illegal federally and you cannot transport it. Last month, a Houston woman arrested after CBP officers found 43 pounds of marijuana in a bag she checked on her flight from Dulles to the UK. And back in March, a Maryland woman arrested on felony drug and conspiracy charges after CBP officers say they found 53 pounds of marijuana in a bag she checked on her flight for Paris. Officials say the weed has a street value of about $250,000 in the U.S. and would be worth two to three times more in France. What we're seeing is a trend of drug trafficking organizations using the supply and demand effect. We've also seen trends where people are trying to bring back in illicit drugs. It's not just drugs, they're also looking for cash, weapons, and other illegal devices. No contraband spotted as we watched officers x-ray these bags heading for Ireland. But CBP says they never know when a routine check will turn into something serious. And they have this warning for anyone who wants to try their luck. And we got to do whatever we can to protect our borders. If you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. At Dulles International Airport, Walter Morris, News 4.